How many women in here have a vision, a purpose, a goal? Shout unto me if you got a vision, a purpose, and a goal. Sometimes when you have a vision, a purpose, and a goal, you wonder, am I enough? And you don't have the resources, and you don't have the hookups, and you don't have connections. And, and people like my sister are fighting for you to have the access and the opportunities to further your vision and to do what God has called you to do. Good Soil is fighting for you to have the access and the connections that you could never get on your own because I believe that in the next 12 months, something that was in your head is gonna happen in your life. Something that was in your head is gonna happen in your life. It may not be that you start a business. It might be that you open up your third location. It may be that your franchise is born. It may be that you start something that's never been started before. It may be that you manufacture the material for the sister across the hall that's about to start up the business. It may be that you open up the shipping company, the trucking company. God's going to put you in strategic location. Everything that's in this room is here for a divine purpose. I can't hear you talk to me. Your victory is our victory. When you win, we win. When you overcome, we overcome. I want you to holler if you got your sisters back in the fight in here. Come on. Turn up! Turn up! Now hear me good, I want to pray, and this is not a new thing, it's not a hyped up thing. You all know there are two areas I've been called to ministry, but I've also been called to business ancestrally from generation to generation. There's been an anointing on me to do business. There are people in this room that you have the anointing, but you don't have the access. There are people in this room that you have the anointing, uh, but you don't have the capital. There are people in this room that you have the capital on one level, but you're getting ready to shift where my shift is at. You're getting ready to shift into another dimension. I'm believing God for you. I'm believing God for you. We stand in agreement with you. We stand in covenant with you. We've been praying for you when you didn't even know we were praying for you. When you were on TV, we were praying for you. When you were in the news, we were praying for you. We were fighting the same fight. We're not in competition. We're in collaboration. There's so much need in our family that if all of us do something, I know Beyonce's doing something. There's all kinds of people doing something, fighting for you to get up because we want you to get up in here so you can bring it on home. Slap somebody say, I'm about to bring it on home. I'm about to bring it on home. I'm on third base. I'm about to bring it on home. I'm on third base. I'm about to bring this thing on home. In my life, in my spirit, in my heart. releasing connections, you're releasing partners, you're releasing resources, you're releasing opportunities, you're releasing real estate, you're releasing property, you're releasing favor in every aspect of your life, you're releasing increase, you're releasing investments, you're releasing investment portfolios, you're releasing, you're releasing grant capital, loan capital, doors open up. Franchises, mountains move, doors open. This is your stuff. This is your time. This is your season. This is your year. You really about to bring it. You really about to bring it. You about to bring it on water. You about to bring it on home. There are 
women in this room that are successful in business. There are women in this room that are in transition from corporate America into business. There, come on, let me hear from you. There are women in this room, you have the education, you have the intellect, but you need the hookup and you're in this room. There are women in this room that don't have the background, don't have the training, but you got the anointing. Holler at me if you're in this room. There are women in this room who have been working like a dog, and you've been so busy working like a dog that you're almost exhausted, and you need some help, and you need a model, and you need some training, and you need this woman to win, because when she wins, you win. With what we're doing with Good Soul, when it wins, you win because we're out here fighting for you. We are the Harriet Tubmans and the Frederick Douglasses, not fighting for ourselves, but we're fighting for you to have the opportunity to what's next. Lift your hands up. In June, I'm convening a Good Soul conference. I'm not asking you to come, please. Not all of y'all. But lift your hands up. I could take about 5%. <laughs> I don't want to have to go to rent buildings. Your mindsets determine your assets. It's, you don't like anointing. You like access and assets for what God is about to do. But God brought you here to set it off. I want you to get your vision in your mind. It's a building, it's a bakery, it's a company, it's an architectural firm, it's a design, it's a beauty shop. I don't care what it is, I want you to get it in mind. Your logo, your increase, your availability, your restaurant, your resources, your food distribution, your change, ever, whatever God spoke to you about, I want you to get it in mind. Some of you are getting ready to take a deeper dive into real estate. God said he's holding your property. Your property is about to be released in your life. You are here for a reason. You're not just going to get spiritually revived. Your vision is about to break loose. Who am I talking to? Hold your hands up and get ready to receive it. Father, I decree and declare that new doors are about to open up, that new dimensions are about to open up. I decree and declare that there's going to be a release coming from unexpected places. I release that grant money. I release that CO. I release that CFO. I release that accounting. I release the increase on that credit score. I release that LLP. I release that LLC. I release that S Corporation. I release that C Corp. I release that dream, that vision, that hope, that not for profit, that home for unwed mothers. It will come to pass. And Father, I'm not afraid to declare that over the next 12 months, uh, there's going to be radical transformation as we lift our hands uh, and we open our hearts to receive. We've got good seed. We need good soil. We've got good seed. We need good soil. We've got a good vision. We just need an opportunity. I want you to open your mouth and holler like it's already done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. I don't care who you go through. You can go through any of us. You can go through all of us. But the Holy Ghost said it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Touch 10 women and tell them, bring it on home. Bring it, bring it, girl. Drag it, snatch it, grab it, yank it, tug it. Do it in parts, do it in sections. Whatever you gotta do, bring it on home.